classify as rational or irrational the first one is under root of 196 now under root of 196 is 14 into 14 which is equal to 14 so 14 is a rational number so this is rational for the next one we have 3 under root 18 so 3 for 18 I can break it into 3 3 and 2 that is 18 for every 2 I take 1 out so this becomes 3 3 under root 2 so this is 9 under root 2 now because there is this under root 2 this becomes irrational now for the next sum we have under root of 9 by 27 now let's first cancel reduce it 9 over 27 and when we reduce it we get 1 by 3 so this becomes under root of 1 by 3 and this definitely will agree this is irrational for the next one we will first try and reduce it 28 and 343 so we cut it by 7 we will get 7 4s are 28 and 7 49s are uh, uh, 343 so here now my answer comes 4 over 9 under root under root of 4 is 2 under root of 9 is 3 so this number now has no third sign and it will be rational for the next one so let's remove first the decimal here so this becomes 4 so we want to take it here 4 over 10 now this would be minus under root 4 is 2 but this under root 10 will remain as under root 10 and you'll agree now this number is irrational now for under root 12 over under root 75 we will first reduce so we have 12 over 75 and if you if you cut this by uh, reduce it by 3 you will get 4 here so this is 4 and you reduce this by 3 you will get 25 so this will be under root of 4 over 25 under root of 4 is 2 under root of 25 is 5 so this is a rational number for the next one here we don't need to find out we know it is a terminating this is 5 9 1 8 over 1 2 3 4 it is in the form of p over q so it is definitely rational all terminating decimals are rational remember terminating decimals are rational and non terminating repeating are also rational now for the next one let us open the bracket so it becomes 1 plus root 5 now this minus goes inside so minus 4 minus root 5 now this will cancel out plus root 5 minus root 5 will now cancel out and what will remain is 1 minus 4 equal to minus 3 and you'll definitely agree minus 3 is rational now for 10.124124 this can be written as 10.124 repeating this is a non-terminating decimal it's non-terminating but it is repeating and because it is repeating it can be written as p over q so it is irrational if it is repeating it always is rational now if you see for the next one this is non terminating but it is also non repeating non terminating non repeating are irrational so this number is irrational the pattern does not it does not repeat here if you see 124 124 repeats so it was a repeating one so it became rational this is non terminating and also non repeating it is irrational now for pi remember pi is always a non repeating non terminating decimal 
So it will always be irrational. Pi is always irrational. Even if, if they give you like 2 pi or 4 into pi, all these will be irrational. Now for the next one, you have under root 2 to 5, which is 15 into 15, so equal to 15. And we know 15 is definitely rational. So this is a rational. Now when it comes to 5 plus 2 root 3, 5 of course is rational, but root 3 is irrational. And a rational plus irrational is always irrational. Next one, you have a plus b, we notice, and this is a minus b. a plus b, a minus b is a square minus b square. So root 5, root 3. Root 5 into root 5 is 5, root 3 into 3 is 3, and that comes 2. So this number also will be now rational, because 2 is rational. Now for under root 64, under root 64 will be minus minus under root 8 into 8 that is minus 8 and this is rational. For the next one let's remove the decimal. On removing the decimal 144 there are two decimal places so this is 100. So 144 we can write as 12 into 12 and 100 we can write as 10 into 10. So this is 12 over 10 which is 1.2 or p over q. This is p over q so it will be rational. If x is equal to 5 is x rational or irrational? x, x square equal to 5 is x rational or irrational? So if x square equal to 5 your x will be under root of 5. So what can you say? If x is under root of 5, and we know under root of 5 is irrational. This is irrational. So we can say now that x also is irrational. If z square equal to 0 0.04, is z rational? So if you have z square equal to 0 0.04, so z will be under root of 0 0.04. So z will be, we remove this decimal, so it will be 4 over 2 decimal places, so 100. So z will be under root of 4, you know is 2, under root of 100 will be 10. Let me explain that again, 4 is 2 into 2 and 100 is 10 into 10. So this will be 2 over 10. And you know 2 over 10 is definitely rational. If t square equal to 0 0.4, is t rational? So t square 0 0.4, t under root of 0 0.4. So t will be now under root of 0 0.4 will be 4 over 10. So t will be under root of 2 into 2 over 10, which is equal to 2 over under root 10. So this is irrational because under root 10, so this is irrational. There's one thing I want to bring to your notice. Have you seen that under root of 0 0.04 is 0 0.2 and it is rational. But under root of 0 0.4 is irrational. So you have to remove your decimal and then decide if it is rational or irrational. Now under root of 5 minus 2, definitely irrational because under root 5 is irrational. For the next one, 2 minus root 2, 2 plus root 2. So here we have a plus b and a minus b. So that will be a square minus b square. This is the A and B. This is A and B. So this would be now 2 under root 2. So it would be 4 minus under root 2 into under root 2 is 2 and the answer will be 2. And 2 we know is rational. So this whole number is rational.
2 is rational. So we can say this number on multiplication will be rational. What about 0 0.3796? Just think and tell me for a moment. Pause for a moment to tell me will it be rational or irrational. It is a terminating decimal, so it is rational. Remember, it can be written as 3796 over 1, 2, 3, 4. It can be written as P over Q, so it is rational. Under root of 23, under root 23 will definitely be irrational. I cannot solve it further. It will be irrational. But however, if I were to find out what is under root of 25, under root of 25 is 5, and that would be rational. Now root 2 plus root 3, the whole square. I use the formula a square plus b square plus 2ab. So here is my a and this is my b. So I will put here now a square, b square, 2ab. So root 2, root 2 is 2, root 3, root 3 is 3, and this is root 2 into root 3 is root 6. So I have 5 plus 2 root 6, and 5 plus 2 root 6 is irrational because of root 6. So this number is now also irrational. Now if you observe this number, this number is non-terminating and also non-repeating. And if it is non-terminating and non-repeating, it becomes irrational. So this is an irrational number.